I remember. Then one after the other, the days passed. These seconds turned to hours and raced in a journey towards the unknown, but they left no answers. But the questions, well, they just kept pouring in like, who am I? What is my purpose? What is my destiny? Who am I? Can God use me? Is it too late? Am I too messed up? Who am I? See, paths to self-discovery and independence only resulted in more dependence on the acceptance and affirmation of those around, but what they said that I should claim to be just didn't feel right. It felt fake, it felt forced, and it felt empty. An illusion of flawlessness painted on the chains around hearts and masks around the faces presenting love and concern wrapped in the skin of insincerity. Who am I? God, who am I? See, broken I came, realizing that the creator is the only one with the answers that I so desperately sought I came. And I held nothing back. Showing you the deepest, darkest, most well-hidden parts of my being, my flaws. But you, you already knew. And you saw these scars and wounds that I had hidden so well behind these walls. When no one else knew, you saw every single one. And when I asked, you showed me. You showed me exactly who I am, that I am set apart. A mere piece of dirt that you molded to absolute perfection with one breath you made me a reflection of you and now day by day you remind me that I am a piece of you a piece of the father a piece of the master his masterpiece now I live in your truth no longer burdened by the shadows of doubt and pain and fear and lies because your love it redeemed and it set me free when it tore down the veil. These threats of falsehood which embellished the altar that we turned into a stage act one to house these charades aimed at pleasing men and not you. And when they fell, like acts two, a fresh breath of holy fire filled me up with grace, with power, with love, and with the truth. For you are God, the Father, the Son, and the Spirit, three but one, a distinct trinity, and all power is yours, the creator of time and all manner of existence, the I am that I am. There are no words to describe your fullness, your sovereignty, for you are the way and the life without you there is nothing. Without you I am nothing and with you we have the truth. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. See your love revealed who I am, revealed my truth and I will never stop chasing after your heart. So who am I? Well, I'm just a girl who's experienced the life-changing love of Jesus. And now I just want to share it with the world.